Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about this beautiful pin holder I made. And this pin holder is actually turned out to be very beautiful. So I'd like to share how I made this. And this has beautiful beads and sequins and a lot of beautiful confetti fabric and felt and some satin fabric and then on top this gorgeous little thing to put my pins on so this one is actually made from recycled material i use this uh, lace came in this one so you can use this the lace thing and where you buy your lace and once it's done and just throw it in the trash so this is the one i use to make it a pin holder so i'm gonna use this little one for this project so what i did is i have a fan and first we're gonna work in this bottom person so what you're going to do is you're going to fold the fill like this. You measure and see how much you need. So about 2 or 3 inches. A little bit more maybe to fold. So after you get that, you have to cut it. And then you're going to stitch folding this like this and then you're gonna stitch folding this after you've done that stitching and then I'll just pretend that I stitch this one because I have one already done and I stitched that so this is the one I have already done I stitched it see a simple stitch over here simple stitch over here and then after you stitch it you lay it down and you decorate it the way i made the paint and the makeup brush holder this is the same way so i'll just show you how i decorated it this one i use bigger confetti but here i'm going to use small confetti so you fold these two sides and then you use the sequence and the these are little little this came bead these beads came from the party necklace so you cut it like this and you use them i'll show you how to do this one so for this project you will be needing sequence a little bit bigger size will be better I used about medium size, you can use bigger size, you need some sequins and you need this, any kind of bead, but I use this bead because I want to make it with whatever I have in home. So I use the party necklace. So this is how you, after you stitch these two sides, like this, like this, then you're going to use the middle portion to decorate. So this is how you're gonna decorate like this you will drop and then you'll use your sequence and you can use the tip of the paint container to push it down like this so this is how you're gonna decorate this entire belt so the closer you put them the better it is they look better with closer because these are not very big confetti sequence these are little sequence so they look better when they are closer to each other uh, like this so 
Sometimes you see two sequins stuck together. You just have to move them around something. So you get the idea like this, you do it. And then for the these beads, what I did is I gave one gap because these beads are big. So I gave one sequence gap and then the other one. One sequence gap and the other one. Like this. Like this. So this is how you're gonna continue with the entire entire row. And make sure before you do that you fold it just the way I did. And then after you do this, you leave it up one side to dry for two hours before you can work on it. So this is gonna dry. Now I'm gonna work on this one, the one is already nice and done. Work on that one. So after you have this all dried, both the side stitch and then decorated and dried, now you take your this recycle uh, the lace container where the la usually the laces are wrapped around this and this is the just for usually throw it in the trash or recycle but you can reuse it and make beautiful pin holders so you wrap it around and just like my pen holder and make a brass holder I did you wrap it around and you stitch it you can glue it too, hard glue it if you don't like stitching, you like hard glue, you can hard glue it but make sure it's come up all the way up because you want to then add all these things to it so it needs to come all the way up like this so it gives it a nice skirt. Now you take your needle and stitch. Now you're not stitching this container, you're stitching the felt. And make sure it's tight so it will stay on this. Like this, you stitch the felt. Make sure it's very tight. Like this. Now, since you have the beads, you have to be careful that it doesn't get stuck in the beads and the beads will start coming out. So like this, you stitch this thing with the container, the felt with the container. But you're actually stitching the felt, you're not stitching the container. Now when you go up one more time, that time you stitch little bit of the container so that it stays stuck to the container. See? Like this. That way it don't come out. Now you can hard glue this. You don't need to stitch. I am stitching because I don't like the hard glue. And hard glue would be probably easier. Like this. But I am used to stitching and I kind of don't like hard glue. Unless I have to do it. So you go in the salon and stitch it a little bit. That's why when you make this pin holder, you make sure that you get a, this uh, container which is really soft, not very hard because if it's very hard, then it will be hard for you to stitch. Now all these stitches which is coming out right now, they are not going to be visible once you put the top portion. So don't worry about it too much. And now just stitch it so that they don't 
separate and this one will hang into it you really don't have to do too close just go far away far away like this and now let's snap this now we're gonna work on that so we're gonna put this one aside and we're gonna work on that second thing so this is the bottom portion we're done now the for the second thing first the bottom portion we're done for this i have two fabrics you see the black one and then a sequence fabric so i went ahead and made the sequence one and i'm gonna show you the black one sequence one is little bit smaller than the back one now I found this this is also recycled material something that I bought frying pan and came with the frying pan just as a cover so I used this and this one it was little bit for bigger fry pan so this is a bigger circle so I cut the black one with this and this one I cut the, the um, sequence fabric so what you do is you get your fabric and then you lay a circle anything you can lay a plate or anything and then use a chalk marker to mark all around and then cut out the fabric circle so after you have your circle fabric then you take this fabric the uh, either satin or you can take uh, just knit fabric anything that you like this satin or the sequence fabric will look prettier so then you have to stitch like this you leave little bit and you enter from the front you do little and then came in the back very big front little back big like this this is just to gather the fabric this is I'm doing just to gather the fabric to make it like a flower so you do like this back more front little back more front little back more front little like this just to gather the fabric see how this is gathering the fabric like a flower the whole idea is to make like a flower looking so like this now this will give a look of a flower so you keep pulling like this see how it's gathering the fabric that's the whole idea just to gather the fabric like a flower like this I'm almost done I made the second one ahead of time a little bit more now I always have to remember you give little in the front and very wide in the back little in the front very wide in the back like this now it's kind of becoming like a pouch but it's actually gonna look like a flower because you're gonna gather it like this now you see it's giving a flower shape now one little bit left and we're done done to the move on to the second one so like this I come around here and you pull all of it all of it and make it like this so you see it's looking like a flower now when you did this you're gonna have to really pull pull tight now after you pull tight you go on with your this needle few times to lock it up so it doesn't open up you lock it up like this so it doesn't open up so you see now we are into a flower and you make sure you lock this one up real good so I have given many locks so it doesn't come up about five six seven as many as you can okay so I see we're good here I have given many 
this fabric is satin so you have to make sure you have given many after you do that so you see this is a good flower now you can add some sequins to the side if you want I haven't done that now you match it with the other one so that's why other one is little and the bottom one is big because you want to make two different sides so after it's done like this now you stitch these two together like this you stitch these two together forget to put a knot at this end now after you stitch these two together now you can take it down and you can hot glue it on top of it but I didn't do that I stitch it again so you can choose to hot glue that will be much easier but I stitch it so I go and stitch it again like this so when you stitch you don't have to stitch though you can hot glue that will be much easier but I'm just stitching it so like this stitch these two sides like this and when you stitch you have to be careful not to get into the beads if you get into the beads they will pull so like this like this you go around and stitch the entire thing so I will meet you after I finish stitching so I have finished stitching these two after you stitch these flowers and the bottom portion then you need to make a pillow like this this is just a simple basic pillow so you need to take a little bit of black fabric and then you stitch all the four sides and then you stuff some polyfill inside it and make it like a pillow like this and you sew the 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 front so you're gonna stitch all this two sides this side is already stitched you take a little piece of fabric and you fold it in half on the wrong side and then you stitch this side and then you stitch this side and leave this one open and then you fill it with the polyfill and then it will look like something like this now you need to take another piece of fabric which is so you see this pillow on top and then it has a beautiful trim so in order to make a trim you just take another piece of sequin fabric or just shiny fabric and fold into little like this and now stitch this one so i have done that already i made this little pillow and stitch this one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these two together and we're gonna press it hard so that it becomes really swollen so you start from here and then start adding so i'm gonna do that and press it hard so it becomes like this very thick swollen pillow so you can put all your pins and your needles i'm using this one for pins and needles as well so here i start sewing this just a basic sew but when you sew it make sure you pushing it hard so you're making it a puffed up pillow like this go on sewing at the edge of at the center of this pillow just to giving it a, a beautiful look a trim so we're gonna do that now so while you're stitching this keep pressing on it so by the time you reach the end it will be a circle somewhat like a so make it like a very lumpy pillow so you can push all your 
needles and pins so I'll go ahead and stitch this one like this now the, this pin cushion is really very useful I not only I'm putting pins I'm using it for keeping all my thread and needles because most of my projects I am doing so far by hand so it really comes handy now I am going to do after this a project on and um, making a beautiful purse making a beautiful purse from uh, recycled material I'm actually using some uh, old salt tub to make a recycled um, purse and this purse is gonna be very beautiful party purse and just use something from your recycle bin and you can reuse now here I'm gonna I have extra so I don't want to put it on top I'll just go ahead and snap it off and pull it and so for this one I just use a piece of fabric you can use any kind of contrasting fabric just to give it a beautiful look so when you sew it here you pull and it's doing two jobs one is it's beautifying it and second it's kind of giving a lift to this pillow so it's gathering and that way you can uh, put all your pins and needles and it don't come outside or it will not poke you so like this you go on and do a real hard stitch here pull it hard like this now at the end you tie it up real good so it doesn't open like this now after you do this you can just glue the whole thing on top of this like this and be very easy just hard glue or you can sew it like me it's up to you i will just go ahead and sew it because I like sewing and stitching so I don't like hot glue so we'll just so I will sew this thing and come back and show you how I put this one and you can go ahead and use your hot glue gun and glue this one so sewing will be a little bit hard but I'll do it and and meet you in few seconds so I showed this thing back with these two flowers and now you see it looks like this exactly. Now what I need is to put this necklace in the neck of this. So when I sew this thing together I actually sew this one the top pillow with the, this bottom flower. So it's not sewn to this black bottom very bottom flower it's sewn to this top the sequence flower. So now you have this needle and thread left after you show this one and you use this necklace to put it in the neck like this and you're going to sew this necklace. If you want, if there is any excess, you can trim it off or you can just leave it like this. It's up to you if you want to use this beads on something else, you can trim it off or you just first you tie these two together with your needle and thread just go ahead around and tie it like this just like putting a necklace on something like this you tie it around now you see you have this excess a few beads you can trim them off or just leave it the way hanging pretty so now we tie it and now to make it permanent so that it doesn't fall off you just go ahead and sew it with this fabric little bit so it don't fall off like this side and then another stitch 
on this side it's a little bit hard to do a stitching gluing will be much easier you know you secure it a little bit and snap it off now our beautiful pin cushion is ready and we're gonna use this to put all our pins in here so there you have it yourself a beautiful pin cushion which is made from recycle lace holder so this one has some needles and this one has some pins now there you have it a beautiful pin cushion now I have two one to show you and one I made it for myself thank you so much for joining me this is Melody from home garden and fashion please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you with my next video thank you bye bye have a good day